I'm the bomb for breakfast. Good morning, Danny. How are you doing today? Fine, thank you. Oh, she's wearing makeup. <laughs> We take a look at some of those videos and uh, Priscilla, you can tell us exactly what you see. Um, of course, what you got from those videos. So, um, in Bariga, it happens that they are just beside the Todmina. So, they are very, very close to the water. So, it tends that whenever it rains, the water from um, the bridge, from under the bridge, becomes worse and gets into their neighborhood. And it has been happening for quite well, some but time. But hold on. This is not water. But uh, the video is for... Uh, can for I, can I, of course, this is water. But what I'm saying, first of all, can my director go back to that first video? Bless you. Now, that video we're looking at, uh, Dami, yeah. is that's, it... That's um, a lot of trash that they use in filling their, their floors. So they can step on it. As in people are using trash, trash to fill their to floors fill their so that they can, can have somewhere have to put to their eggs. Are you kidding me? There's right a now? video of So it's an intentional thing that yes. they're dumping yes. refuse yes. on their floor. Yes. Wow. Okay, go ahead. Yes. So it happens that a few years back, um, the governor at, at the time wanted to do something at the other side of the bridge. So mm -hmm. he filled it with sand. Okay. Uh, neglecting the other side of the bridge, which is Bariga. Okay, so the jetty that was done on the, the side. Uh, yes. yes. It did affect the other side okay so, so now the water doesn't stay there it, it now comes, comes, into, comes into, into, into the access, barrier. Okay. so it, it's this bad according mm. to them we were not there when it was it's raining. really bad it was raining so according to them this is even less this oh, is oh, this is this like is, this, yes, is like good. this is good this is good yes this is good Some according people even to have them to like flush the water out of their house using yes. like we met a man that said he uses um Six, six liters, liters of well, of well every, every day, single day to, to flush out the water to pump the water out so he, 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 he built his house yes, yes. many of in, them in a river plain lowland low low land, he yes. built it yes. he did not know he was supposed to according, according to him yeah. he said the land wasn't like that before, before. yes but you know? but this is a lowland yes this is a lowland actually he said he has been there and this is a river plain yes, yes. They're yes. not supposed to just build here, here. Mm. until they have filled Build it. it. Yes. Because the water level, apparently, global warming now, water level is even rising, rising. and rising yes. every yes. day. So you should have measured that you would have a minimum of, this say... Is, this is somebody's house, inside somebody's uh, house. Uh, yeah? This is yes. inside somebody's, somebody's house. house. Um, is this a kitchen? No, no this is the house. They, are, they had to leave their the hollow. Yes, they had huh? to leave. Yeah. Yes, so they had to use things to raise everything. everything. Yes. Is that a bed? Yes, yes, a bed. Do they sleep in this house? No. <laughs> they, they all of them that neighbor, most of them, they own their houses. So they had to. Those who had alternative had to go somewhere. Live those with who someone don't have else. Alternative have to manage and sleep there. Stay there. there. Okay. Do their kids, kids are, go to school? Yes, yes, their kids go to school, and some schools are even down the street. So the kids mm -hmm. enter water to go to school every time. Damn me. That's fine. So apparently, this is somebody's neighborhood. People live here. I can see that there are shanties. I can see that they have bathrooms outside these yes, houses. Yes. So, is this supposed to be a river or a canal? This is a canal, but it has been done after it didn't complete it. Like so, some other canals that are currently yes, in Lagos. It is not complete this canal. So instead of the water flowing, it's just there. 
it's not moving. Static. It's, it's static. It's, not, it's just there. It's stagnant. Hmm. Okay. So at this point, um, I think it's about time we call on the Ministry of Environment in Lagos to come see to the situation. But Bariga has been going through this for quite a while. Yes. Uh, let's not deceive ourselves. For as long as I've been coming to Lagos as a child, I've, I had a friend who used to live in Bariga. We used to have plank to enter our house. So I really know that uh, Bariga has been going through this too for, for, for a while now. And that's the water level. So, okay. What's this? This is Costain. This is Costain. Yes. Okay, yes. so what, what is this? What, what are we looking at exactly? So here in Costain, this particular um, water that we saw now, yeah. it's a canal. But it has okay. been filled with this dirt that we see. So when the water comes... So Nigerians, Lagosians, go there to dump their refuse? Yes. yes. Hmm. When the water comes, it, if it comes out and enters into their homes. Sometimes in the night when they are sleeping. So they have to like wake up and raise their things all of those process all over again so and people then, actually live here yes, yes. is this close to the national theater yes, yes, yes. It is. so this is a community after or around the national around theater the it's behind the national theater yes, actually. Mm. So, and then to them they said the, the only thing they can do right now is to just keep jumping their refuse there because the psp guys can't come into their community yes. Community. Yes. Do they come out of their community? They do. So they why can. not bring their refuse out of their community and drop in the beans situated by the side of the road? I have no idea why they do that. Because yeah. there is government responsibility and, and there yes. is the people's responsibility. Yes, yes, yes. And then the shocking part is, while we were doing all of this, we saw a bakery. Yes. <laughs> Just around in well, the same community. Hold on, hold on. The bakery was with that beside the dirt or beside no, the inside the community. Oh, around the bakery, mm. there were lots of, of dirt. dirt. Mm. And I was wondering, how would you people even? What kind of bread do they be? I get a bread. I get bread. <laughs> the type that they used to slice yes. on the road the and put butter in. Yes, exactly. yes. Mm. And according to them, it's one of the best bread in the Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> yes. We bought it. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> did bought it. it. <laughs> to be able to see why. You know, did you eat it? Mm. We had it. <laughs> Just a <laughs> little <know>? thing. <laughs> because in this we case, had to. okay, you're fully vaccinated for COVID. Mm. Don't forget that cholera is out too. Yes, yes. COVID and cholera yeah, are two different things. things. Mm. So you ate the bread. In a way. <laughs> <laughs> No, but, this, but, is, this is the bakery actually. What? Yeah. This is the bakery. Eh? Yes. Eh? Yes. Oh my. And they are using bowl. For me, I even told, I told them. I said, hold on, this hold on. They are using bowl, bowl water. water. Yes. They are not buying water from not outside. Buying water. So th they have this flood water in their yes. community, yes. which obviously is seeping into the the bowl. Bowl. every other yes. bowl yes. and well. Yes. And then they are using the water to bake, bake bread. bread. And then you people bought the bread. <laughs> And I couldn't swallow it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> My conscience kept freaking me like that. Like, they will not be I was scared, they yes, we had to. Yes, had to. And so they, they, didn't want us, they didn't want us making the video. Oh, so you so had, had to buy the bread. bread. We had to pretend to buy the bread. And we noticed they were looking at us. So, so we, we had, had to, to pretend to like we were the eating bread. the bread. <laughs> oh, I get the point. Oh my, this is Orile Igomo Axis, and uh, we've been talking about Orile Igomo for a while. But this particularly is Igomo, where the National Theatre is. And the people in that community have made a mess of their community, choosing to dump refuse on their, um, you know, in their environment, as well as this is their canal. It is full, which means it needs to be dredged. And it needs to be parked out uh, before the rains get really heavy. It hasn't rained every day, not our seven days rain like we yeah, had last yeah. year. But the shocking part is, even without the rain, the water still enters so into the community. Yes. Because the water is coming upstream. There's water everywhere. Yeah, Orile yeah, is, in yeah. a way, linked to um, the lagoon. Yes. Water is from the lagoon. The lagoon is fully comes. It goes to Bariga. It goes to every community around the lagoon. Gets to participate in uh, enjoying the visitation from flood water. Oh. 
All right, it's a community report on the bumper breakfast. You have uh, something like this in your community you'd like to draw our attention to. Please do send a message to us on the number right there on your screen. But let's listen to some of the residents in that community and what they had to say. Yeah, I've been living in this I think uh, I'm not missing my way should be over 30 years. 30 years. So Most of the time that we wake up in the morning, we see water flowing every day. And like the community we grow up, it's a slum area. We live in this place not by choice, it's just by chance. This is where we find ourselves and there's no problem about that. If you want to live to that place, there are people that live in that place. But because of that water, no one can come out from that place or go to that place. Most of the time we come in the morning. And that water, it comes often early in the morning, between that 6 and 7, when people are just trying to go out for their daily work. And later in the day, it comes like that. So it might come like that for like two, three weeks or a month sometimes. Then after that, it will stop. In another three, four months, we'll have that experience again. That has been the situation for over 30 years that I said I've been in this place. Wow. But I noticed a dump site. Uh, and it's, it's normal that when the water overflows like that, it, it brings in death. And so, is it that the PSP agents don't even walk around this area? They don't want to clear death? Yes, that is true. There was a time we were trying to arrange such so that PSP lawman can come and go, evacuate uh, death and death to the community. But the problem we are facing the road, there's still good road whereby the vehicle can access, you know, every corner of the community. So it don't, don't come like that. And of course, you know, you have to use that in your own in different houses. Definitely you have to keep it somewhere. You cannot keep that in your house. So that just we do that within the neighborhood. So, so that's why it's like that. So even when you are in the house sleeping, the water will just enter the house before you see it, just like exactly. Very early in the morning because the thing has time that normally comes. It comes in the morning, it comes in the evening. Shake there. Even our free sign don't set. It came like yesterday. It came. Shake it. So I don't know, maybe today is going to come again. Today evening. I don't know if it's going to come again. So it's just something that it comes often like every time. So when it rains, does it have like a special effect? Yes, exactly, yes. Yeah, so when it rains now, you know, with the addition of the rain and the water itself, when the water is coming, so it now makes everywhere to be flooded, like, everywhere. It just be, you know, at times when you want to pass, you need to put your, um, this thing, what's it called, your trousers before you can be able to pass. Okay, yeah. so what, 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 how is the malaria typhoid rate? Very high, yeah, because that God is the one who is, and who has been keeping us here. Very hard. So when, when this water comes, has it like displaced people, like made them or rendered them homeless in such a way that okay, they can't go into their house or something like that? No, the thing there is that, you know, the, let me just use this word, let me look into this with that. Every one of us who have the in this um, area or this community, they are always doing it. So when, when it enters the house like this, uh, most people, they used to pack it. Like, you know, the water comes and goes. So when the water is going, you add the water, then pour the water outside so that it will go together. So when the water is coming, it comes with death. Yeah, exactly. Yes. What are the communities doing? Trying to take out the death of the water and then maybe minimize the rate of fish water. Seriously, for years I've been here, I've not seen anyone do anything for sanity. Because we just believe that it's something that has time. She gets. There will be a time like this, it will not come at all, nobody will notice anything like that. So at times like this, it will come. So when it comes, like just accept your faith, believe that it's not something that will happen to me. It can even happen that to me, but it might not happen to me. So from your own view now, what do you think?